Hello, love! Welcome home to Eden. This is Eve Kristoff, your love life muse. Stick with me for the hottest news and subscribe to this channel to get somewhere new. Oh my goodness, honey, this totally worked for me. Oh, we're talking about you breaking old patterns so that you can have the love that you deserve, whether it's friendship or divine consort or husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever you're looking for and you've been like in this old pattern and it keeps, you keep repeating that pattern. Oh, sweetie, I just like, I met somebody that is breaking all the patterns, totally, 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 all new energy, and it's just healing me so much. So I want to share with you how I did it, because I know this works now, okay? At first I was like, does this actually work? Now I know it does, okay. <laughs> so, oh, the first prayer I made that did not work, okay, first let's look at that. That was a prayer, and I'm always about prayer and intention, right? So, the first prayer was like, everything outer. It was like, I want them to have a good car. <laughs> I want them to have a good job. I want them to be super handsome in a certain kind of way, tall and, and, and um, manly and ethnic. And uh, <laughs> I went on and on with my, oh yeah, take me around the world and pay for everything and take care of me. <laughs> I made up that whole thing. And guess what? The person walked right into my life with every single thing on the list, including I'll take care of you and take you around the world, ethnic, tall, on and on. But what was the problem? I had left out the essence of the prayer, honey. Nothing means anything. Nothing's any fun if you don't have love, right? The inner essence, which makes any mundane thing totally magical and any thing that is totally over the top amazing becomes boring without it, right? Oh no. <laughs> okay, so that was a disaster and it ended in disaster and actually it ended up in a, mm, what do you call it, a restraining order? <laughs> it got so bad. It was obsession. It wasn't the, the wrong thing. <laughs> so I made a different kind of prayer this time and this is what I want you to do, okay? I took my negative pattern and I wrote it out. I went, okay, let me look at this here. What have I been repeating year after year since I was a little kid, you know, um, patterned after the disasters in my childhood? Okay, I wrote out every single negative thing in terms of um, being fetishized, being abandoned, being hot, person, people going hot and cold on me, uh, on and on. Okay, it was a long, long negative pattern. And then all my fears from every bad experience, you know, date rape and, and being talked over and controlled and, and um, not allowed to be independent and all those things. Okay, now, I took my pen and paper and I took every single one of those negative things and I wrote the opposite, okay? Now this doesn't mean like, um, I now have a guy who does not control me. That is still writing the negative. No, I, I changed it in total positive terms. So I now have relationships where I am empowered um, and, and free to be my full powerful self on my own terms. Okay, so you write every negative story in only in terms of the positive of what it would be if it was really positive, okay? Ah! <laughs> this works! The next couple pages, I got down to like 10 pages of positives and the next couple pages in my journal are, get this, the new person in my life making an intention agreement with me. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, do this, darling. Make the prayer about the essence. So, that, so in other words, when I wrote out the positive uh, essence prayer, it wasn't about he's got a good car, it's about he has independence, he has self-worth and self-confidence. It wasn't about um, he he takes me around the world, it was about he he journeys with me into the inner worlds of, of love and adventure, okay? So the prayer becomes inner, an entirely inner prayer. Uh, there is chemistry that is soul connected and cosmic, right? <laughs> Yay! So now, now whoever comes 
let them in. And this is the other pro thing that I wasn't prepared for. When this person came my way, they didn't look anything like my type, right? Opposite of my type, opposite of the outer prayer in every way. So, but the inner prayer being met is so much more fulfilling, darling, than the outer one. And who knows, it may bring all the outer things in the end only they will have an inner depth to them, inner meaning. Oh, darling, I wish you so much joy and love. This is totally doable. You can do it. Come on.